Hi and welcome back. Today's lecture is going to cover how to calculate geometric probability. Before we get to geometric probability, let's briefly review the basics. Probability is the likelihood of an event occurring. For example, the probability that a two-sided coin will land heads up is 50%, and the probability of a six-sided die landing with a six showing is one out of six. For example, to calculate the probability of event A occurring, we simply need to find the number of ways that A may occur, and then divide it by the number of total outcomes of the system. Geometric probability applies this concept of general probability to geometric shapes. Instead of using the number of outcomes to determine probabilities, we will now be using the areas of different shapes to calcul cal calculate the likelihood of an event. To determine the probability that a point randomly chosen is within a certain shape, we can just divide the area of that shape by the area of the entire region. And if you aren't certain how to proceed to this calculation, you can just follow these five simple steps to find a geometric probability. First, read the question and, and determine exactly what is the part of the probability and what is the whole. Draw a graphic to help you make the area calculation and then label the appropriate information accurately on your graphic. Then, use your knowledge of area formulae and equations to calculate the areas of the necessary shapes in the figure. To calculate the desired probability, we simply divide the area of the part by the area of the whole. Let's try some practice problems. The above figure shows triangle ABC with vertices lying on the circle with center O and radius 2. If AB passes through the center O, what is the probability that a point randomly chosen inside the circle also lies inside triangle ABC? Okay, so I, as I said before, what we're really looking for at the end of the day is the area of the part divided by the area of the whole. That'll give us the probability that we're looking for um, in this particular question. And the part is denoted by triangle ABC here, and of course the whole will be the entire circle here. Now, now that we know that, our job is to calculate the areas of those two shapes. So let's calculate the, the area first of triangle ABC. As it says, the radius of the circle um, that the line AB passes through is 2, which means this segment is 2, this segment is 2, and this segment is 2 as well. So since this is a right triangle, it's very easy to calculate the area of one or both of these triangles simply using the area of a, the formula for the area of a triangle, which of course would be A equals one-half times base times height. Fortunately, in this case, the base and the height of this triangle are both two. One-half times two times two, which equals four times one-half, which gives us two. And that's just for one triangle. Of course, we've got two of these triangles, so let's multiply this by two. And of course, the area of the shaded region we now know um, is four. So we've got the area of the part. Let's, let's find now the area of the whole, which would be the circle here. To do that, all we need to do is take the radius and plug it into what we know will be the area of the circle. Of course, the formula will be a equals pi r squared. Um, r, we know, is 2, so that will give us pi times 2 squared equals 4 pi. As I said before, we want to find the area of the part divided by the area of the whole. We know that those numbers now are 4 and 4 pi, so that's the answer we're looking for here. And of course, um, 4 divided by 4, we can just substitute 1, um, and we get 1 over pi as the answer to our calculation here, which is fortunately answer choice A. We've got the correct answer. Uh, let's move on to the next problem. The above figure shows a square ABCD with an edge length of 6 and lines PQ and RS that are parallel to AB and AD respectively. If AP equals 3, and AS equals 4, what is the probability that a point randomly chosen inside the square ABCD also lies within the shaded region? Okay, so again, we want to go for this formula, area of the part 
um, which would be this little square here, or little rectangle, sorry, over the area of the hole, which of course would be the larger rectangle surrounding it. Um, if AP equals 3, so this is 3, and AS equals 4, let's not forget that this is a square, the total side length of which would be 6. Therefore, since part of this side of 6 is 3, that means this must be 3 as well. And this remaining side over here, this small segment must be 2. This is important information because now we figured out the dimensions of this shaded rectangle here, which means the area of the part is going to be the area of that shaded rectangle, which is very easy to calculate. Um, it's just going to be 3 times 2. Of course, that's the uh, formula for the area of a rectangle, base times height. Um, and of course, the area of the hole will just be the area of the larger square, which is 6 times 6. And that will give us 6 over 36. The probability, when we simplify it, comes to 1 over 6. Okay, and that'll be our final answer. So that wraps up our lecture on problems involving geometric probability. Make sure you know the probability formula well, as well as your geometric area formulas and equations. We'll see you next time.